Hi, do you want something here? Shopkeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go out to Dr. Kimmin... What was it now? Well, to that doctor's manor that he went. He said his he said his grandson Purr, will be back repairing the retaining bridges. And I'm supposed to mind the man the shop till then. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. Fortunate. And you're supposed to man the shop? You don't even know how to use register, man? <laughs> This could be a very big problem for us. <clears throat> I suppose it doesn't matter though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored really. First world problems. <clears throat> if you like, how about you help me <clears throat> while some memory? I got a tale that you may find interesting. Uh, what does he have to say? Sure, go ahead. <clears throat> when I was younger, I sailed the world seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with incredible profusion of Pokemon. All the Pokemon in the world, the one that I find to be the most interesting is Eevee. Now Eevee is a unique Pokemon that can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon you see. When I sailed, I studied Eevee quite extensively, and as a result, I have attained five items that are the keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you say you're raising an Eevee? What fortuitous coincidence! <clears throat> this must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate this occasion, giving you one of the five items. You don't need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. Nice. <laughs> they let us evolve things. Super quick. <clears throat> yes, this gets us into two items that are exclusive to XE. The Moon Shard. <clears throat> and the Sun Shard. All it takes is having this item in your inventory, level it up, level it up and boom. Which EV Lucian are you feeling? <clears throat> I feel like all of them can do well. Well, apart from like maybe Flareon. Yeah, Flareon does have a rough time because this was before the physical special split, so you have to use <coughs> Flareon special attack, and it's not that bulky. <coughs> yeah, and for a defensive fire type, that's not very good. Yeah, not very good at all. So, hmm. so not Flareon. We have Jolteon, who's really fast. <clears throat> yeah, pretty fast. Got some good special attack in there as well. Yeah, Vaporeon's kind of bulky, kind of has some good special attack. Umbreon's a little bit more <clears throat> defensive, and Espeon's probably the most offensive of them all. Yeah, as bulky as you'd expect water types to be. <clears throat> yeah. Vaporeon's probably the best balanced one, but I feel like, given the game, it probably, any, like, any of them except for Flareon would probably be alright. Personally, I'm partial to Jolteon. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go what with. about you? Jolteon. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, now... Typically, it's not the best idea to evolve straight away, but in <clears throat> Eevee's case, we're gonna want to do that. I think our move pool just gets better when you evolve it. Yeah, it does. go. <laughs> I have just the nickname for it too. 
What are you thinking? I'm gonna keep that under wraps until we can get to the name raider. <clears throat> Makes sense to me. You wanna try and catch as many of the uh, shadow Pokemon <laughs> as possible, or are you <clears throat> thinking we should just kind of build a team of six and <clears throat> leave it at that? Build a team of six and snag every shadow Pokemon, even if we're not gonna use them. Sounds fair. That is what this game is about, after all. Very true. <clears throat> oh, that settles that. All fixed. You wanna talk to me? Yeah, the part shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's off to the Arctic Minkos. <sighs> when my Grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing, he's off like a shot. Never mind the shop or his grandson, me. I'll buy the machine part they need. Can I get you to come by our shop? Man, I bet you'd be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. <laughs> <clears throat> Before I do- Apparently grandpa's not grateful enough. <laughs> Apparently not. Before I do that, we actually want to go over here and talk to this guy. Hi! Welcome, youngster. No words need to be spoken, no questions need to be asked. Yes, we shall battle. <clears throat> Casual <Like> Kyle. <clears throat> An interesting... Like, he's just like, let's hop right into it. I'm a casual guy, you're a casual guy, let's just... get to business. Yeah, that's totally casual. The reason 100%. how I, I'm challenging this guy is his ladybug. <clears throat> so we encounter our second shadow Pokemon. It's crazy how much higher level it is compared to the Taylo. <laughs> <clears throat> it does match with the rest of our party, though. Maybe they just <clears throat> want it that way, so when you catch it, you'll actually be more tempted to use it. I don't know why you would use ladybug. It is. <clears throat> It, it's suckiest. one of the worst Pokemon available. It is the suckiest suck that's ever sucked. Yeah, pretty much. Bad stats, bad type, bad moves. For sure. Only one Pokemon I can think of is worse than it, and that's Love Disc. Yeah. <laughs> Love Disc is at least water types better <clears throat> than Bug and Flying, I think it is. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, Love Disc has a, has a great <coughs> Smoggin article on it. <coughs> Giving full credit to Smoggin <coughs> for this one. We'll take a generic water type, give it crummy stats everywhere except for speed, give it a trait that doubles speed and range, and the option to use agility, and call it a day. Love this is great when you're playing with Battle Handball because it'll cause your opponent to laugh at it for so long that you win the match. <laughs> that is actually really well put. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't put it better myself. i quite the fan. <laughs> what do you lose? No, sir. Well, rest in peace, Kyle. The other one who had Ladybug on his team. Quite sad. I love that we just take the Pokemon from them. <laughs> I think this is kind of like you're just stealing their Pokemon. <clears throat> Which, you know, all for the better. But it still is what it is. Yeah, I believe there is another Shadow Pokemon within the lighthouse. Well, let's go check it out. I like the way this dock system works. It seems very intricate for <laughs> just a random dock. <clears throat> Not to mention one of the houses is this, um, <clears throat> like, across one of the bridges. Yeah, baby! Like, if you yeah. need to oh. cr cross for something, you're kind of screwed. That'd be rough. Uh, now, you're a rare child. Most people would take the elevator. Young sir, 
Why are you doing all this for exercise? <laughs> <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe you could say that. Or... Maybe we're just having a fun time. Or I just wanted to be a hoarder. Down the stairs. Or I just wanted to be a hoarder and get an awakening. Which are actually very useless. You just use the call command to awaken a sleeping Pokemon. Gotcha. <laughs> This bodybuilder right here. You there, you look like a trainer to me. <clears throat> that man is huge. Somebody gave me a Not really a man. tough Pokemon. Not a man. Oh, it's not. Oh, what the heck? No. I didn't even know. Yeah, female bodybuilders are a thing. It ain't it's true. Right? Shadow Pokemon. I feel like you never see them in video games. Well, here comes Pokemon XT. I love that they say they have these highly intense Pokemon and then they have a Poochyana. <laughs> a level 10 Poochyana at that. Pokemon is not a bad dark type either. Problem is, dark type is special. And most dark types have good physical stats. I don't understand <laughs> how they got got it the way it is. I feel like if Ghost and Dark had been flipped <laughs> around when they added Dark, it would have been better. Make Ghost special and make <clears throat> Dark physical. <clears throat> They're more or less the same type offensively. Yeah, but like the there's a lot more dark Pokemon that are good physically, and there's a lot more ghost Pokemon that are good specially, like Gengar. <clears throat> Not to mention dark types like Absol, I feel are made better after the physical special split. <clears throat> Definitely. I can hope this doesn't take up the Teddy Ursa. Yeti! Hopefully not. Good. <laughs> okay. Shadow Hold. Sure. Some of the moves they give Shadow Pokemon, I feel like, are just kind of <clears throat> goofy. Don't do a whole lot. This move would be pretty OP if allowed to use in a standard game. What does it do? It keeps both Pokemon on the uh, opponent's side of the field from escaping. That would be pretty strong in VGC. This Pokemon was too weak, you don't say. What's that all about? I joined that organization because they said they gave me a strong Pokemon. Something that's not like the usual ones. Well, what was that all about? What was the talk about that? I was conned. <clears throat> Poor lady. She feels like she thought that Poochiana was actually good at one point in her life. <clears throat> that's just a sad reality. <clears throat> well, to be fair, it's marketed as a strong Pokemon because it's a shadow. I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this might just be the Persona fan of me talking, but <clears throat> what would have been really cool is if they've given each shadow Pokemon yellow eyes. That would have been really interesting to see. Instead of just an aura, they actually kind of gave the Pokemons, like, specific little things about them you could see. Yeah. 
usually in Persona 5, shadows are defined by having yellow eyes. Yeah, baby! Gotcha. Yes, oh, well, I don't remember that from Persona 5, despite having just played through the entire <clears throat> game in spring. I'm playing the Royal now, actually. Yeah, baby! Oh, nice. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Here you go. I needed to say that three times in a row. It's a rare item. That machine part took a while for that order to get in. How's the director of Professor Crane doing? Well, about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that text box really needed to exist. Huh? Yep. The HQ Labs director was abducted by some goons with a shadow Pokemon? <laughs> All the lab director is found. I'll be running for you, so don't give up. We won't. We'll keep after it. Yeah, for sure we'll be going after him. Nothing new but take the um, machine part back to the lab. Off we go. Those are the only two shadow uh, Pokemon that we can obtain right now, by the way. Gotcha. And those two are optional. Like most are. I'm guessing, yeah, most of them are optional. Oh, Michael. Could you wait just one second? Hooray, more homework! <laughs> we love more homework. I swear, this is like high school amount of homework. Yeah, they really do like assigning it. <laughs> Yeah, they tend to be very assignment happy. Oh boy. That man's pinecone's just been chilling out. I wonder if he'll just stay there the whole game. I believe so, actually. That's such a bad thing. Plus, he looks so happy. As a huge defense, as a huge special defensive tank. It would be. Yes. <laughs> like, at least it's doing something. <laughs> as good as the special defense is, it's physical defense is trash. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I prefer... Honestly, I prefer Shuckle as a defensive tank. Shuckle lives forever. Especially if it has rest. Oh, it yeah. Doesn't. Shuckle and rest is... Borderline OP. Yeah. <clears throat> oh no, really? Look at the details later. Rub on the machine part. <clears throat> Thank you with this component. We can get down to finishing the get down to the finishing touches on the purify chamber. I should take this out of the river chamber on the ground floor now. Oh, Delby will take it. Delby, are you sure? Don't drop it. Delby's ready it. for everything. <clears throat> I guess, how's your shadow Pokemon doing? Irrigation progress. <clears throat> Irrigation progresses if shadow Pokemon spend time with this trainer. No, I'm wondering if it actually says it any different if you actually take in the possibly an hour or so to um, purify before getting here. I feel like it'd probably be the same. I'm not 100% sure about that. I haven't had the patience to really find out. I'm sure somebody, someone out there on the internet has figured it out. Probably. My bet's on no, it, does, it doesn't say anything different. Okay, 
you said, I think your shovel gun should go through the purification ceremony through a different process. <coughs> a village called a gate. <coughs> there's something, yeah, there's something called the Frolic Stone, which was used five years ago. Yep. Not to mention the Colosseum, there was a special item. Use a summon syllabi, and that's an alternate ray purification. I'm not sure if I use. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played Coliseum. <coughs> the item would be the time flutes. Gotcha. I didn't purify that many while I was playing the game, so. I might have just used, like, going back to the town every time. <coughs> Honestly, neither did I. It's too much of a headache. Yeah. I mean, they, they expected way too much of you. If you actually wanted to complete it 100%. It would be different if it didn't take so long to purify the Pokemon. But it just takes so much time. That, and once we get to a specific portion, oh, that's when I'm really gonna get my rant on. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we gotta meet a, an old man by the name of Egan. Why do we give that voice to all men? Get in touch with him so he knows you're coming, Michael. Do our best to get the purification finished while you're gone. Please be careful. Oh. Off we go. Off to a gate. <clears throat> I like that they're keeping pace with letting this like go places plenty quick. I feel like sometimes games can get stuck on the introduction for too long. Yeah. This one seems to keep things moving. It's got a good pace, I'll definitely say that. <clears throat> 